taking 1.75, 5.6 and 7 as 175 by 100, 56 by 10 and 7 by 1 and finding the HCF. I am getting 7 by 100 which is 0.07. This is wrong, uh, Santa. I will tell you why it is wrong, but 0.07 is wrong. Correct answer is 0.35. And anyway, when you have got two right answers, since we are talking about HCF, highest value, right? Highest common factor, which is higher of 0 0.07 and 0 0.35, 0 0.35. So, going by that logic, you should have marked 0 0.35. But let me tell you why 0 0.07 is wrong. Let me see the second solution first. In the second solution, you have taken 1.75, 5.6 and 7 as 175 by 100, 560 by 100. Yes, this is the right approach. And you have got the answer as 35 by 100, you are saying 0.35. So, what is the correct approach? And why can't the other be correct? Kindly help me. All right. So, I think I have already told you that 0 0.35 is the correct answer. Let me first, for the benefit of others, explain what is happening here. I am sure those who have watched the HCF and LCM video, they would know what are we doing here. But in general, when you have to find out the HCF of fractions, HCF of fractions, like for example, some fractions, let's say two, three fractions there, HCF of fractions like uh, a by b c by d e by f and so on it is nothing but hcf of the numerators right hcf of the numerators divided by the lcm of denominators opposite right hcf of numerators by lcm of denominators similarly uh, lcm of fractions lcm of fractions is lcm of numerators by hcf of denominators so if you, if you understand this will be hcf of a b c Sorry, ACE, not ABC. Highest common factor of ACE, the numerators, and the least common multiple of the denominators, which is B, D, F. All right. So HCF of fractions is HCF of numerators by LCM of denominators. So that's what he was doing here. Those who have not followed HCF of numerators, 175, 56, 7. LCM of denominators, 110, 1, 110, 1. Similarly, in this case also, he has taken 175 by 100, 560 by 100, 700 by 100. So, numerators are 175, 560, 700. Denominators are 100, 100, 100. So, I am not going to solve this. I am sure you know how to find out HCF. So, HCF of 175, 56, 7 comes out to be 7. LCM of 100, 10, 1 comes out to be 100. Answer is 0 0.07. Here, HCF of 175, 560, 700 comes out to be 35. LCM of 100, 100, 100 is 100. 35, 100 is 0 0.35. But like I said, this is correct and this is wrong. Now, why is it so? Why is this wrong? Understand, when you are dealing with such problems 1.75 5.67 you should ensure that the number of decimal places are equal the challenge here the reason why you are getting two different answers Santa is because 1.75 has got two decimal places 5.6 has got only one decimal place and 7 has got zero decimal places now nothing wrong in writing 1.75 as 175 by 100 5.6 at 56 by 10 and 7 as 7 by 1 but when you are solving for HCF, when you are trying to find the HCF, ensure that the number of decimals are made equal and only then you proceed with whatever method you want. So ideally 1.75, 5.6 and 7 should be taken as 1.75, 5.60 and 7.00. Now you may, you know, you might be wondering that what is the difference? 7 and 7.00 are same, 5.6 and 5.60 are same. But then while finding out HCF, you have to take care of this. Now, after making the number of decimal places equal, you have to convert them to proper fractions because for finding out HCF of fractions, we need numerator and denominator, right? So, 175 by 100 is 1.75, 560 by 100 is 5.6 and 700 by 100 is 7. And then apply the formula, HCF of numerators by LCM of denominators. So, simple. I mean, just one point which you need to remember is the number of decimal places have to be equal. You're getting it. Like, for example, let's say we have to find the highest common factor of 2.38, 1.692, and uh, 7.3. Now, you cannot do it directly by taking it as 238 by 100, 1692 by 1000, 73 by 10. That won't help. You should take it as 2380 by 1000. So, basically, go for the maximum number of decimal places that you have there. So, 3 here, right? So, 3 zeros in the denominator. Then, 1692 by 1000 and 7300 by 1000. You're getting it. Anyway, you, the, the point is you don't have to actually take the LCM of denominators because all the denominators would be equal. The fact that number of decimal places are made equal, the denominators will also be equal. So LCM of 1000, 1000, 1000, LCM may be 1000. You have to just take the HCF of numerators 2380, 1692, 7300 divided by 1000 to get the answer. Okay. So the correct answer here is 0 0.35 and the reason behind that is that the number of decimal places must be equal when you find out the HCF.